Welcome back guys. This is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to perform standardization of data. So in the previous video, we have seen how to normalize the data. All the examples are shown here with the wine quality data set. Now we are going to use uh, uh, standardization. So that is also called as uh, z-score method. So z-score method. So the formula for this is value minus mean divided by the standard deviation. So this is the formula we have to use scaled value equals the formula. So this will keep the data in the range of uh, um, minus one to plus one that is the, like a standard deviation and mean will be at zero. So for this we will display uh, data we already loaded and uh, done everything with the wine quality data so in order to apply this data we will go with uh, some column like sns dot plot this plot of df of we can go for acidity sorry fixed at acidity i think uh, this should be fine or else we can also go for uh, ph So this is a normal distribution in the range of uh, 2.8 to 3.8. The other example we have seen is uh, fixed acidity. We will perform uh, operation for both of these columns. So this is a uh, little right skewed. That's fine. So I'm going to apply this uh, formula for both of these uh, columns and see the result. So the mean currently it is at uh, 7 and this is a 3.2 it will be converted to 0 and uh, the standard deviation will be in the range of minus 1 to uh, plus 1 it depends on the data distribution now let us apply the formula apply the formula now before that we have to take a copy I will call it as scale data equals df of copy run this and uh, scaled data of first I will go with the fixed acidity or else we can go with for call in fixed acidity so if you want to perform uh, multiple uh, columns the same operation means you can use a for loop that will be much easier so here I'll just fill it with column equals scale data of column minus scale data of column dot mean mean divided by again scale data of column with the standard deviation. That is the formula I have uh, specified earlier. So here you can see value minus mean divided by the standard deviation. So I have done that. Let's run this. Now let's display the result. SNS dot dist plot of scale data of fixed acidity. Okay, now you can uh, see the standard deviation uh, gone from like minus two to uh, plus two before it was in the range of like four to uh, uh, 16. Now you can see uh, the mean is at uh, zero and uh, the deviation, uh, most of the deviation are from uh, minus two to plus two. And we will also see it with the other example that is pH. Now again you can see the pH level varies from uh, uh, 2.8 to 3.8. Now the mean is at 0 and the deviation is from uh, minus 2 to plus 2. Here I guess uh, the standard deviation is 2. That is like uh, one standard uh, deviation. Uh, that is the range we are uh, getting. So this is also uh, very much applicable uh, if you are uh, going for some uh, deep learning project. Let's say if you are uh, using time series uh, modules means you have to transform the data in a scaled manner like this. 
so this will definitely help your uh, uh, model to improve performance and uh, so this is one way using the formula and the other way is to use uh, a scalar model so the other way will be from sklearn dot preprocessing import standard scalar standard scalar now i will initialize with the uh, standard scalar now initialization is done now i'm going to use uh, this data to fit so sc dot fit of df of um ph okay and uh, you can pass only a single column you have to pass like a, a 2d array so instead of that i'll just uh, use it like this now the data has been uh, fitted now let's transform the data i will say again scaled data or uh, standard scalar data will be fine equals sc dot transform of the same values i am going to pass here run this so currently this is like a single uh, column if you want to reshape means you can uh, reshape like this c data equals c data dot reshape of minus 1 it will just uh, change it into like a, a single dimensional array and after that you can uh, plot the information so sns dot i think i will just have it in a separate cell sns dot displot of sc data now we are getting the same result so df of uh, ph will look like this so this is the original data this is the scale data so while using this function you can just pass the whole uh, data frame and uh, scale the data uh, appropriately you can also use uh, uh, both function like fit transform if you want to uh, do the operation simultaneously that is also possible so using this uh, you can able to uh, easily uh, scale the data with the use of mean and standard deviation if you want to get back the original values means you can again use like sc dot inverse transform in order to change back the original values or else uh, you can use the formula like this so original value equals scaled value multiplies by standard deviation plus mean so this is how you can uh, get the original value and that's it guys uh, if you have any queries regarding this uh, standard scaling please leave a comment below i will definitely answer up and that's pretty much it guys if you like this video hit the like button and i'll see you guys in the next video